Hello, my name is Chris Jacobs. I'm here at Ingersoll Rand's North American Solution Center in Madison Heights, Michigan. What I'd like to do for you today is demonstrate a steel frame handling device. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the key features of the device and then I'll go ahead and pick up the actual part with it. This is a fairly straightforward device. Two cylinders for clamping. We're actually dropping inside the frame and clamping out um, on the inside. The clamp pads are rubber. Um, what this does for us, it gives some friction and also protects the painted surface. This is a, a fully painted part. You'll see the overhang located on both sides. This is also protected with UHMW plastic. Um, what this does is it drops down on the frame so it locates exactly in the spot you need to pick it up. And this also acts as protection um, because the, the frame is painted. We don't want to damage the paint. The handle is set up with a pivoting handle. Um, this allows us to pivot the handle up and down. And you'll notice all the holes. It comes with a full pin. You can actually lock it in position if you need to. Or we can put two pins to lock the degrees that you can move. Or you can pull the pins completely out and have a full range of motion. I'll go ahead and demonstrate the device for you. One thing to note also, we've set it up with a multi-pad eye that you can change uh, the CG of the part. What we found is we've set it up so that it's on a slight angle at pickup. This allows us to drop down into the frame, and then once we pick it up with the weight of the device, it then goes level. So I'll just go ahead and demonstrate that for you. So I'm going to drop down the front that's closest to me first, drop down on my uh, UHMW locator pads, and then from there, the operator is exactly where he needs to be. Just go ahead and clamp up to the inside of the frame, and then from there, lift the frame and move it into position. If you'd be interested in a device like this, please contact your local sales manager.